Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an Acer laptop. Let's take a look at the back of the computer. Identify the model. This is the N22C6 Acer Aspire 5. In this video, I'll be doing uh, explaining to you about the hard drive upgrade, maybe the upgrading the RAM, changing out the battery, changing out the keyboard. So let's take a look here, the full disassemble. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver, removing all the screws here at the bottom. Okay, once all the screws are removed, the next thing is to pry the back cover up. Find that little gap, get in between the plastic cover. Okay, once the back cover is removed, you can see the entire internal part of the computer. I'll identify some of the stuff here. CPU fan, heat sink, RAM. You have two RAM slot, first and second. Definitely, um, you can upgrade additional RAM here. This is the battery, Wi-Fi. You have two hard drive for the M.2 SSD. Okay, you can actually add additional M.2 here, but this is the main. So let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. And you want to slide a white connector down towards the body. That's how you disconnect the battery. Now, where is the CMOS? The CMOS is right here. This is the CMOS connector. To disconnect the CMOS, just kind of a uh, slider connected down as well well I need to fix this connector now it looks like the uh, the connector wasn't able to slide it down and I disconnected the uh, the cable let's remove the battery first give myself extra room Huh, it doesn't seem like the connector is removable. It's somewhat as attached to the uh, to the motherboard. I need to fix this in a second, but I think my recommendation is you want to disconnect the CMOS by, well, technically it's supposed to be a replaceable connector. If the CMOS battery is dead, and all you have to do is just pull the connector down but for some reason this connector here is definitely not coming out it's somewhat kind of glue onto it so so that is the uh, the problem there okay the next part is to remove the uh, the RAM and this is running on a PC4 meaning it's a DDR4 RAM that is the M.2 SSD drive. You have first the generation. This is the fourth Gen 4 on the right side of it, and the next one is Gen 3. And if you're curious to find out what this is, this is the USB adapter for the M.2. You can um, try to recover the data if you're interested. Just plug it in as a USB device. On a different computer, you should be able to see your information. 
Okay, the next step is to disconnect the Wi-Fi here. Let's disconnect the CPU fan. Gonna flip open that little clipper, open up the clipper, slide that cable down. This is the uh, keyboard and that is trackpad. The speaker is right here on the right side of it. And this is the LCD cable for the screen. You just have to push it away to slide it out and remove the motherboard is very easy. There's only one screw here holding off the motherboard. Removing the two screws that would remove the hinge. So push the hinge back at 90 degree angle. Okay, and the whole keyboard assembly would just come right off. But before we do that, if you're interested to remove the, uh, the motherboard here, slide this cable out. And this entire motherboard would just come right off. Okay, regarding about the keyboard, this is not replaceable. As you can see, the keyboard is already kind of built into it. Okay. And if you have a bad keyboard, if you spill something on the keyboard, the full assembly on this Acer Aspire would have to be changed out, including the trackpad. All right, and that is the full screen um, assembly for, for that. Okay, I'm going to put it back together. So for this computer here, if you need an upgrade, more likely the only thing you can think of would be um, like the RAM. It has two RAM slot, meaning you can add additional RAM to that. And um, if you need more storage, then you can add additional storage for the M.2. So to slide the motherboard back in, I just need to make sure it is in a position here on the right side of it. Slide in and then let it sit and close the hinge down to clip it together. Have the two screws back here. And if you're interested, where to buy the uh, M.2 drive or the uh, M.2 USB adapter or maybe the uh, the RAM, please check the link down description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement uh, parts for this, including the, uh, the battery if you guys are interested to find the battery as well. Okay, so let's install the RAM. After CMOS battery, go back here, the speaker. That one screw for the motherboard, which is right here. This cable here for the uh, USB I.O. board on the left side of it. So put it together. This is for your keyboard.
and this is for the trackpad. Okay, slide the Gen 4 M.2 back in. This is the Wi Fi. Let's put it back together. And then this is the CPU fan. You have both of them here. The screw go back in it. So the only thing that was surprised me is the uh, CMOS battery. I can't believe that the connector was somewhat kind of like glue into it. It doesn't want to come off as I pull too hard that the um, that the connector came off. So anyway, that should do it. I think um, shouldn't be a problem for the CMOS. If anything, I just got to change out the connector. I should have a different one. But I need to turn it on to check it out. To install the Wi-Fi cable, all you have to do is just make sure the circle goes on top of it. Okay. Straightforward with that. Let's see. To install the battery, it's very straightforward, just have to push it back in, all the way in and have the tape to hold it down and two of the screws. One on each side, left and right. And that should be it. And have the back cover to go back in it. I like to slide the back here first. <coughs> Press it down. And have all the screws to go back in it. So if you do find this video is helpful, all I'm asking is just a smash of a like button for me. And if you feel like to support my channel, to support my work, please click on the YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share your gratitude, um, to show your appreciation and to support the work I do and my channel. And I really appreciate you for doing that. Other than that, please smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And again, any question, comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.